After they had lost the tag team titles, Trish Stratus turned her back on Becky Lynch, attacked her, took her out, has gone full heel. We saw earlier in the night that Lita was backstage and she was taken out and she was holding her head and she got attacked by somebody, probably Trish. Thanks to the question of today's episode, what is gonna happen with this feud? Trish versus Becky Lynch. Today I'm gonna go through how I would book this feud going forward. Now could this just be a straight up one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania Backlash? Maybe. That'd be a little bit boring, wouldn't it? That these two just have a one-off and then boom, we're done and we're out of there. I think it needs a lot more. Let me know in the comments below, what would you do with this feud going forward? To me, I think you could stretch this thing out several months and make it really, really huge. This is not a small thing by bringing Trish in, Lita in. We had the WrestleMania match, the six woman tag. And after that, it felt like damage control was gonna break up. We still might be getting that, but right now they are turning their attention to Trish Stratus and having her go full blown heel after Lita had been taken out. And I really do like this. I think it's a good move to have Trish go heel. I think Becky Lynch needs an opponent and I don't think that they needed the women's tag team titles because I don't think anybody needs a women's tag team titles. They need a mid-card title. That's just my point. But I think that this match could be really, really big and it might happen at Backlash or they could push it out and do something down the road, potentially at the Saudi Arabia show or even SummerSlam if they can stretch it. Trish Stratus is a great heel and Becky really does need to be in singles competition, having single feuds, and going up against a legend like Trish, I think is a very, very smart move. I don't think we're gonna get Trish on TV every single week either. If it were me, I would keep Trish off TV. You could do some pre-filmed interview segments. You can have Becky on TV every week trying to sell this thing, but I think you're gonna end up keeping these two apart for a little bit. And that's why I don't think you should be doing this at Backlash. I think if you're WWE, you hold out and you give us this match at a larger show like SummerSlam. The question is, what is Trish Stratus's motivation for doing all of this? It could be as simple as Trish didn't like the fact that Lita was picked to be the tag team partner and was feeling jealous. They're just the classic storyline there. It could be Trish is feeling like she is bigger than all of this and like she was tagging along through all this because it's Lita and Becky being the tag champs and she's been the third wheel. And Trish could be taking it as I'm the top tier women's legend out there. I should not be a third wheel to anything. And I shouldn't just be an afterthought second in line to be a tag team partner. I should be the main pick. So there could be a little bit of jealousy that she's thrown in there between Trish and Lita. But do you load this thing up at Backlash? To me, no. I think that's just way too soon. And you already have a pretty substantial card. Now, with Triple H, he has been building out these premium live events for the last eight months to almost a year now of giving them some substantial matches and making them must watch. This is a must see matchup and a must see feud, but I think if you blow this thing off at Backlash, it's way too soon. Are you trying to build to a Lita Trish match? I don't think so. I think you are trying to get this match and you have Becky eventually overcome the odds of Trish Stratus. You might want to do a first match at Backlash but I think that you're also running the risk of doing that with Cody versus Brock and even Ray and Dom are still going at it. So these kind of continuation of matches, I don't think you want to just kind of throw everything out there all at once. I think you should hold Becky and Trish off to a later point, maybe do a contract signing at Backlash to set it up for Saudi Arabia or to get us to SummerSlam. Doing this at SummerSlam to me is the big match. And I think you have vignettes and you have promos going back and forth on why she turned her back on Becky Lynch and thus turning her back on Lita. Eventually you're gonna get to a moment where Lita and Becky are gonna want to be able to get their revenge on Trish. However, there's a good chance that we don't see Lita at all for several months. And this is an easy way to write Lita off TV and just do back and forth segments between Becky and Trish. And I hope they do more with Trish Stratus because if it were me and I was booking this thing, I would wanna be able to use her as a legend in a spot like you do to almost a Brock Lesnar type. But on the women's side, which is something they don't really do with WWE, you don't have women legends coming in, being dominant, coming in for a prolonged period of time and really coming back and showing that they are kind of like best in class. They typically come in for a short, tiny run and it's a mid-card thing and then they're out. If they use Trish properly, you can set her up to be a huge dominant heel that Becky needs to overcome. And you could stretch this thing out 
for a very long time, and it frankly could just be a lot of fun to have this going back and forth. But let's pretend for a second we do have this match at Backlash. I would probably have Trish go over. If you're going to have multiple matches and you're not just going to hold off to one singular match at SummerSlam, do this in multiple matches to get to that point, to get to the final blow off where you might have a best of three. You could have the first match end in a double DQ. The thing has no finish. You could do this at Backlash and you could still make sure that you have Trish going over strong over Becky because you're going to want Becky to fight from underneath. They do a one off and she just beats Trish. This, the whole thing just doesn't even matter, does it? So you want to be able to prolong this thing. If it were me, I would book it as they have a one-on-one -on -one match that ends in a DQ finish going into Backlash. Coming out of that, you want to be able to get Lita a little bit more involved and you could put Trish off of TV for a little while. You're not going to necessarily have her week after week on TV, on WWE programming. So to get her out of there and have it make sense, you could have the two of them take each other out and then have Trish come back into the fold, maybe around the King Queen of the Ring area, or again, it could be around the time of SummerSlam. Between Backlash and SummerSlam, you gotta do something with Becky. You're probably not gonna keep her off TV. You're gonna want that star power on Raw, but we're also running into the draft. And you could end up seeing someone like Becky Lynch get drafted over to SmackDown alongside Seth Rollins and a bunch of other people, but the draft could play a major role in this. The Legends, I don't know if they would even be eligible for the draft. According to Triple H, everyone is eligible. So you could see Trish and Lita and Becky Lynch all get drafted over to the same brand, or they're gonna keep Legends out of the whole mix. But to have like Trish and Becky on SmackDown, for example, is a really, really cool matchup and a cool feud that you could run over on the blue brand and keeping it strong every single week. But I think you need to have Trish getting the best of Becky, putting Becky in peril because she really hasn't had that much. And she is the one of the top female stars in WWE. And she needs to be kind of having some big adversaries. She's done everything with damage control and Bailey, and that needs to be totally done. The tag titles are now off to Liv Morgan and Raquel, so they can go off and fight Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey, for example, over on SmackDown, and they can just move away from that. This is a good way to be able to get away from those title belts and to be able to build something very, very big with Trish and Becky, have this thing go on several months. If you do get to a SummerSlam match, that is where you're gonna have your big blow off between these two. And I think there you can do something like a steel cage or you could just do a no DQ match so that you can kind of work with Trish if she can't go as hard as Becky. But putting these two in there, SummerSlam one-on-one, -on -one, maybe Lita is going to be in the corner of Becky Lynch, you could do that. There's gonna be the element in here of Lita potentially coming back down the road. They're gonna to wanna to get that heat back. And you want that moment where Lita is finally gonna get over on Trish, maybe just with a knockout punch, a moonsault, and that would end the feud. But in the meantime, if you don't have Trish Stratus on every single week of TV, she may have to recruit others to step in and try and take out Becky Lynch as almost a proxy. What do you do with that? Hard to say. Because you could say it's going to be Ronda and Shayna and you have Trish there kind of leading it as a little faction, which could be really cool. But I do think maybe having some sort of faction or people under Trish to be that proxy for a few months could really help so that Becky could eventually get to the final boss fight of Trish Stratus. It'd be really cool, in my opinion, if you really got this thing stretched out to almost the Royal Rumble and finished up there to give us this entire almost year long story of these two going at it, where you could have Trish enter the Royal Rumble and takes Becky out of the Women's Royal Rumble. And that way you could set up another Mania match. How would you book Trish versus Becky? Where do you think it's going to go? And if you guys enjoy these videos, click right here. We're talking about how to book Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes. See ya.